the sun will come out tomorrow. Betcha bottom dollar that tomorrow is only a day away. Skadoosh! Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG. Ground Zero. Back at it, baby. The last few of these we opened were atrocious, and there's no denying this. So, uh, Marcus is like, dude, here's a couple more. Crack these puppies open. Give me some of that good, good. And as all you guys know, Amazon, uh, I don't know if it's the Wizards of the Coast site or how it goes. Uh, within the last two weeks, though, they did drop a few pallets worth on their site. Um, I went on there today onto Amazon, but I couldn't find any of the boxes selling for $250. Um, they probably sold out really fast because as I looked around, there were none available. <laughs> and uh, the cheapest one on Amazon, I think, was like three twenty-five. dollars And uh, I went to eBay, and the cheapest... Oh, become immense. Yeah, that's what she said. And the cheapest on eBay, I think, was two seventy dollars plus shipping and taxes. I mean, after all that, you're looking at like 300 bucks anyway. So uh, if anyone got in on that deal, uh, kudos to you, man. That's That's phenomenal. But right now... I see this product, uh, it's going to stand the test of time, my friends. Uh, it really is. That's actually a mythic. Unbelievable. Uh, Parasite Bloom. Para Parasite Paradise. Idiot. Joey Moss, stop making videos. Call it a friggin' day, huh? But yeah, these boxes, uh, they, they can generate a crap ton of value. If you pull some of the heavy hitters, and I think the most expensive... Um, ooh, hey, how you doing there, Acroma? Good to see you. Gorgeous. Yeah. Nice little foil there. Or a nice little mythic there. Relentless Rats. Legit. And Recluse. Um, I believe the most expensive time-shifted card right now. I don't want to believe. Um, the most expensive one. I know Chalice of the Void is up there. It's Chalice of the Void might be around 260 And then you got the Ponder which was up to almost 400 or I think it might have been 400 bucks at one point a few weeks ago. And then it dropped back down once the new boxes uh, hit uh, Amazon or whatever for $250. Uh, Ponder dropped all the way down to about $360, $370 for a foil. Time shifted. That's nuts. Um, are they going to drop more of these is really the question. And how soon is really, really, really the question. <laughs> You know, ooh, Ancient Den. I love the the brown frame on this. I think that is quite exceptional. That's my thoughts. I'm sticking to them. Um, but uh, even Kiki Jiki, before they announced, hey, we're going to be... Or not, they didn't even announce. They just put it on there. Here's a pallet or two. Yeah, we have these sitting in the back warehouse. By the way, I think Watsi, Wizards of the Coast, I think their practices are uh, rather shady that they do it that way. I mean, why not just, all right, well, if they came out and say, hey, there's going to be three waves, that would be a pro. Ha, yeah. Oh, right up the gold ace. Oh, my goodness. Lava freaking spike, baby. Time shifted. Foil. Get off me, dog. Nobody's on you. You're ugly. Dang it. We like to split our foils here. That freaking lava spike. 6713, dog. That's not bad. Oh my god, speaking of dog, big dog. I want to thank everyone who has contributed over the past uh, past 24 hours. My uncle, as you guys uh, are aware, has stage 4 pancreatic cancer. And, uh, you know, he had to quit work about, oh my god, October? October 2020? Oh, hypergenesis. Mmm, gorgeous. He had to quit work um, in October 2020. And his whole life he worked as a mechanic, working on uh, vehicles and whatnot, you know. More of a, um, uh, how they word it, um, a collision technician. It's got a nice ring to it. But yeah, he did that, uh, I got at least 30 years, I'd say. Maybe more than that, you know. And uh, he, he's been the breadwinner. But being out of work, I mean, he, he's he got uncovered medical expenses. Um, he has, uh, yeah, the, the, they don't cover everything when you have cancer, guys. Uh, it only does so much. And uh, being out of work, I mean, he doesn't have any funds, you know, coming in right now. 
So for you guys to uh, to contribute and donate um, what you have, I think so far we've raised over a little over a thousand dollars. I was blown away. My uncle he called me today. Um, he was ecstatic. Uh, it's it's probably the best he actually has sound um, uh, in, in recent in recent memory. Uh, he, he, he was in pretty decent spirits because, I mean, that gives him some relief, you know, um, that, uh, you know, some help, there, there's help out there and, and people were kind enough, you know, to, uh, to assist him. They don't even know him, you know, but you guys watch my videos and some of you had, not, not some of you, all of you who, uh, who donated had very, very, very nice things to say. Um, and a lot of shared experiences with people you know as well who are going uh, through the battle uh, with cancer or who have lost the battle to cancer and some who have survived uh, cancer. And um, it, it's no joke, you know. Um, it just, uh, it comes out of nowhere. You start, you know, having some, you start noticing some symptoms and next thing you know, man, you're in the doctor's office and they're telling you some bad news, you know. And uh, not many of us uh, can come out, you know, on top. But my my uncle, man, very good dude. Um, if anyone, uh, you know, has has been uh, more than a, more than a helpful person in their life, it, it's definitely him. So I just want to say thank you. I don't want to ramble on too much about it, but thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you for contributing. Um, I'll leave the link uh, to the GoFundMe in the description of this video yet again uh for anyone who wants to help out oh my god man it, it you have no idea you know I, I i had to take 20 takes to record that video because i was so emotional um it's the big battle the biggest battle the channel's ever seen uh and then it says cancer on it that that's no joke that is no freaking joke man like it was really hard for me to record that so um yeah thank you everyone for your kind words and uh donations Awesome. Uh, my hopes are that I was able to double the original amount that uh, family has contributed. Um, and I think that was 2600 And right now, uh, we're pushing close to $4,000. Um, and and that, that's so freaking amazing, man. Uh, but Joey Moss, Joey Moss likes to set the freaking bar high, baby. And, we, you know, we like to make magic happen, Captain. So... If we can double that initial amount, you know, if we can get to a little over five grand, I would be so freaking happy for him. Um, you guys have no idea, and I, I know it's going to mean a lot to him and his family, you know. And I didn't mention my Aunt Tina. My Aunt Tina. I, I can't believe I didn't mention her at all. Um, I just threw in there that he's happily married. She has been a sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. She is so nice. I don't think she's ever said a mean or cruel thing to anyone, <laughs> ever. You know, um, she's a she's a wonderful person, and um, you know he's he's in good hands with her. Um, so I just want to say I just want to give her a shout out because uh, she, she does a phenomenal job, and she brought up you know uh, all, all three of the boys and uh, his daughter as well. Um, very very amazing. So yeah, hats off to her too. Um, speaking of shards. All right, okay, <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. That had no relevance. Um, I just wanted to change the topic, but yeah, awesome, man. And uh, Larry, uh, yeah, uh, the boys' names are Larry, Alex, and Austin. Shout-outs to them as well. Alex and Austin play magic. They play magic to freaking gathering, and I didn't even know, but they go into ground zero. I hope! Oosh! I had no freaking clue, man. There's a thought sees for us. Um... Uh, I, I, why is Relentless Rats up here? We're going to leave it up there. I, I had no clue until they mentioned it. Um, no, this was like four, like, you know, this is, they mentioned it, uh, I, I want to say I knew they played Magic about five, four to like six years ago, roughly. Um, and then they mentioned Ground Zero, though, is actually the shop they go to about, um, uh, what was it, a month ago? And I'm like, that's crazy, because that's where I go to, you know, that's, that's, that, that's where I go, um. Uh, you know, to pick up boxes and open them up for the for the shop. It's ground zero. That's the shop. And uh, they couldn't believe it either. Like, that's so freaking cool, you know. And the last time I was over there, or two times ago, um, like about a, a week or two ago, um, they were just so, you know, so happy just to show their, their card collection. 
Um, you know, they had some nice hits too. You know, you, I mean, them boys, they worked their butts off, uh, you know, and, uh, they, they're able to, uh, get some boxes here and there, you know, or they, they the one, uh, was it Austin or I think it's Alex. They split, he splits a box with one of his friends, which is not a bad way to do it. Every time a new set drops, um, if it's one they're interested in, they'll split a box, you know, um, I would like to see that, you know, <laughs> I want to see the look on their faces when they open something, and what if one of them gets hosed, you know, they're like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always an experience opening a booster box, especially if you do it with someone else. Banishing light. but oh, banished cancer, man. If my uncle could pull out of this, holy freaking crap, I think it's an 8% survival rate um, for what he has. It's third leading cause of uh, death. Uh, in uh, in America, I don't know if it's the leading cause for cancers in America. It's, it's something I read just on Wikipedia. Um, but man, it's it's one that's a hard fight, you know. And uh, my mom, my mom, oh my goodness, uh, here's Vesuva, beautiful freaking card, hot dogs, baby, hot dogs. Um, my mom, um, she loves my uncle to pieces. She loves her brother to pieces, you know. And uh, on an even more sad note, when uh, my mom was, you know, little, you know, um, she lost her, uh, her closest brother at the time, you know, uh, closest to her age, uh, David, that's where I got my middle name. My middle name's David. Now you guys know, shout out to all the Daves and Davids out there. Um, she lost him to, uh, testicular cancer. So now for her to lose another brother, man, it, it's just devastating, you know, because, um, that that hurts man that really hurts but anyway let's uh i'm gonna turn this video around if anyone wants to contribute please look at the link in the description of the video if we can get over that uh uh what was it? i think it would be like 5300 if we can get past 5300 man i would freaking be ecstatic and again um all proceeds from that video are going towards my uncle i also just threw like a 50 dollar donation up on there the other day um just for the heck of it but it means a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for the bottom of my heart, man. My my uncle's been like a dad to me, man. And uh, I told like he called me today, like I said, and he, and he told me all the you know the, the good stuff and how people are leaving good comments and everything. And it was just he, he was blown away by it and all the support. Uh, he couldn't believe it. So um, very very cool. I told him we're gonna play some poker, baby, because that's one thing we always did. You know, we'd uh, we'd always celebrate. You know, the cousins' birthdays. Uh, any big celebration, basically, you know, a Christmas, holidays, you know, we all meet up, um, uh, someone, you know, uh, we all take turns celebrating at, um, each other's house, you know, the whole family comes to this person's house, whole family goes to this place, you know, um, it's just been really, really cool, um, uh, my upbringing, you know, just, uh, very, uh, involved with, uh, with family, so I'm hoping to extend that out a bit further, you know. Um, there's a big, uh, a big celebration for him, uh, in June that I'm really looking forward to. And, uh, it, it's going to be a freaking blast, but we got to get him to June. <laughs> uh, we got to get him to June. Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, bada bing. Um, it's going to be at his house and it's going to be a freaking blast. So I'm really pumped for that. And, uh. I'm sure I'll uh, share some photos and stuff from that when uh, the time comes. But before then, I told him I'm going to kick his butt in some poker uh, in the coming weeks, you know, on one of the days he's feeling a bit better. Come over there, maybe have a small little game, you know, uh, just family, maybe some friends, you know, whatnot, and have some fun, kick some butt. Just, just family friendly. It's like $5 buy-ins. But, man, I, I, Texas Hold'em, that's our game as a family. We, we love getting down with some Hold'em. And I'll tell you what, hate to brag, man. I mean, my Uncle Larry likes to bluff, but uh, me and my mom... We usually end up uh, winning it all. <laughs> it's come down to my mom and I so many times. Like, even if it's 10 people, 12 people, 20 people, you know, I'd say 40% of the time, it comes down to my mom and I. Uh, and there's been a few times we just split the pot. But, man, I'll tell you what, it, it's a freaking blast. My mom's really good at poker, uh, and so am I. So, it's good times. I used to play in, like, underground casinos before it was even legal to gamble. But you could cool. Uh, before it was even legal to gamble in uh, uh, in Ohio or in the Cleveland area, at least. Um, and then uh, you know the casinos up and up, you know, play there and whatnot, or you know charity events I would participate in for the heck of it. Not that you know, not for being known for who I am, but just you know, fifty dollar buy-in charity event, half goes to a charity. Okay, cool. You know, like twenty-five, you know, twenty-five goes to the charity. 
for each entry and then you know someone's gonna take home you know 25 from each person that participated um and then you know first place second place you know they split it all up whatever um and those are a lot of fun too but i'm, I'm pretty good baby you don't want to test me you know what i'm saying don't want to test me baby don't want to test me fungus sliver that's right mm-hmm and the laboratory maniac what do we got baby what do we got let's cook up heaven's bakery reflex sliver hmm okay but yeah i'll leave the gofundme in the uh, link in the description of this video if anyone can help man please let's uh let's get to that let's just call it 5400 if, if my fans could bring it up to 5400 that'd be freaking amazing man um i know they put a big top on it 60,000 bucks or something like that that's his friend uh Dwayne who did that um god bless his heart very nice of him to create uh, the GoFundMe. I didn't even think about doing that. But Uncle Larry is a really private person. Um, it's not like he's going around saying, oh my God, I'm in so much pain right now, this, that, and the other. You know, he, he doesn't do that. Um, and I think the worst thing with what he's going through um, is, is the pain factor. He can't take any pain medication at all because it'll just destroy his stomach. And um, he, when I went over there uh, yesterday, he was just in constant pain. It was bad, or it was the day before. I want to say the day before. Saturday I was over there. Um, he was just in constant pain. I only stayed 10 minutes because of that. Um, I just felt he you know, needed to get some bed rest. He, he went back and laid down in bed. I woke him up, basically. Uh, but he's got them trees, baby. That's the only thing he can do is uh, smoke the trees. So uh, it's helping, but it doesn't do a whole lot. So if anyone has, like, some home remedies, you know, for, like, pain relief or something, if anyone could recommend something, uh, we're all freaking ears. That would be great, you know, and I'll get the information back to them. Um, that'd be legit. Freaking, freaking fracker. There we go, Betty Crocker. All right, Chalice of the Void, all up in them guts. Nice hit right there. We'll put that in the pile over there where it doesn't belong. Sliver. Can we get one more out of this? Can we get one more? Yeah, I could talk forever on this, man. Uh, another video, but yeah, thank you so much guys, and uh, I'm sorry to you know bring people down with this conversation But it's just what's going on in my life right now, and I thought I would share it everyone You know that simple angel of salvation. That's what he freaking he's a freaking angel right now, baby Paradoxical outcome bada skadoosh Bada skadoosh, but yeah, I'll be contributing more um, Without a doubt towards that. So let's get there, man I got a lot of fans for those who can help out. And someone said, if everyone contributes a dollar, we can double the amount. You know, I'm like, that's yeah, very true. But uh, yeah, not everyone watches every single video. Ponder freaking A, doggy. Mm, right there, big dog. There you go. And the old Eric's daughter. Eric's daughter, what are you doing there? What are you doing over there? Nice foil. Last pack to crack. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Joy Moss of Bad Boy MTG. Let's go out with a bang. And F cancer in the A. You know what I'm saying? For real, though. All right, we got wipe away. Mm, mm, ah, and chronicler. Anything there? Maybe no, no foil. Oh man. All right, we did pull one though. One is better than none. Nice lava spike. Appreciate you guys. Uh, leave some thoughts. You know, um, let me know what's happening in your life. And uh, if you have any stories you want to share, by all means, please do so. Thanks, Round Zero, Strongsville, Ohio. Check them out, baby. Skadoosh.